Hi there. In this tutorial, I am going to look at uh, some previous code that we worked on regarding buttons using buttons, uh, switches, physical switches um, in from Arduino. And uh, you can see there I have my little my little rig there on the camera. Um, so let me just point out one thing here that we've done. And that is I have added more buttons. Okay. And it's a fairly simple affair. There's a previous tutorial on how to do one button. And I just wanted to multiply that slightly and show you just briefly uh, what I did. So same kind of thing. The main difference is I, I now have the ground here. That's my ground pin to the ground rail. And I have each, uh, each of the buttons go to the ground rail there, 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 and the green wire there. All right. So one side of the button goes to ground, and the other side of the button goes to one of the digital pins. So in the first button's case, it's red wire there. It's a bit twisted, but you can see, I hope, that it goes to digital 2 there, and then the green wire, and the second button goes to digital 3, and then the, this kind of red wire goes to digital 4. All right, and that's, that's all I needed to do to make multiple buttons. And you just continue along that vein if you want more than that, you know, just have the button, one side of the button go to the ground, and the other side of the button go to one of the digital pins. All right, so now let's change our code so that it can handle multiple buttons. You remember that we did enough, we did th this code for the one button. Now we just have to expand the code so that um, it could uh, handle multiple buttons. And I'm gonna do it in a way using some loops and arrays um, so that you can just change the number of buttons with a number and then it'll just, it'll just uh, accommodate that many buttons. Start with that. First, we're gonna create a variable and we're gonna call it int num buttons. Okay, and let's, in this case, let's just do eight buttons. Oh, let's just do three. I guess I have three buttons plugged in. Might as well do that. Okay, now remember for each button, we have the integer representing the um, uh, representing the port number, the digital pin number. And then we have a Boolean that's a gate that opens, lets us send just one on and one off without it continuously sending every loop. All right, so we're gonna have to accommodate those. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, um, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of more uh, proper protocol here, and I'm gonna declare everything out here, and then I'm gonna do uh, set up everything and set up. That might work a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do um, number of buttons. I think I can keep number of buttons though. Let's keep number of buttons up here at three. Let's try that. But I'm gonna have an, uh, an array of integers, and these are going to be uh, uh, these are going to be um, uh, each uh, right. Each uh, member of that array will be a different pin. Will be a different number for the pin. Declare that you say integer and the variable name pts buttons, and then the um, the number of buttons. Now I think here I have to actually type in the number. So. Well, this might come in handy later, the num buttons. We'll just keep that anyways. So we'll make that three, an array size of three. That just means it's going to create an uh, array of integers with the size of three, three slots, and it's called BTS. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing for the booleans. We'll create um, BTGs. Okay. And we'll call that three. have occurred and then now we have to set those to pull up but we have to uh, initialize our oops what happened here initialize our arrays first all right let's see how we do that uh, just use a for loop right okay so we're going to use a for loop for int i i equals zero i is less than num buts so um, let's let's shorten that uh, let's see, N, B, T, let's shorten that because we're going to type it a lot. And, um, I plus plus. Now, again, if you, 
finish your for loop on the same line, you don't have to use the curly brackets. So we'll go ahead and uh, state what we want to do. So what we want to do is we want to uh, initialize it, right? Don't we? Uh, right, equals, right, okay. So we're gonna say BTS I equals, now it could equal I, and that will mean that BT, the BT0 will equal zero, BT1 will equal one, BT2 will equal two. Um, but you know we're this is we're declaring our actual digital pin. So I think we start. Let's have a look there. I think we start on digital pin two, right? So that means we need to uh, do i plus two, right? Because the very first um, button uh, in the first slot will need to be start on digital pin two, so zero plus two, and then. 3, 1 plus 2, and then 4, 2 plus 2, okay? So that will fill, basically, this integer with the numbers, this integer array with the numbers 2, 3, and 4, which will be our digital pins. Now, <coughs> let's um, initialize our Booleans. Oops. Doesn't like jumping between, between sketches for some reason. Initialize our Booleans, so we'll do the same thing for int i equals zero. So these are our gates. i is less than um, bts, i plus plus. And this will be btgs i equals, they'll all be the same, they'll all be false, I think. I'm pretty sure I started them as false, yep. Okay. Now then we need to write, well it's right here, so we're gonna get rid of that line. Now then, we need to set each of the pin modes of each of the three buttons to input pull-up, okay? So we'll just essentially do that line except with a for loop for each of those. So we'll say for int i equals zero, i is less than num bts i plus plus, and then it will be pin mode, and then it'll be bts i, and equals, oh no, BTI, and then input pull up all caps. Okay, so each of those pins now, two, three, and four, will be set to input pull up. It's that internal pull up resistor so that it registers high unless it's grounded. Okay, so now we have all our digital buttons set up all three of them, and of course we can change that. And I suppose uh, we're gonna have to, if you want a different size of button, you'll just change the three numbers there, four, 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 five, 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 however many buttons you want. And of course you're limited by the number of digital pins that you have access to. And it'll read from consecutively from whatever number you put here. So this is gonna read from two on. I mean, you can even make that a variable if you want. Maybe that's better to do that. Int, int t, start pin. Pin. Okay, maybe nothing like that. And we put start pin in here. Okay, that just makes it so then you can change which pin you start at. So I can have three buttons starting at digital pin, say seven, so it could be seven, eight, and nine. All right, now uh, our loop, okay? So let's just take this one step at a time and see what happens. So again, we're gonna do essentially the same thing we have here, except we're gonna expand that using the for loop, all right? So for each loop, we have the val, we're gonna declare these values, okay? So, um, uh, so it could be potentially useful for us to have uh, a global variable, but maybe we won't do that. We'll just uh, do it in here. And we'll say, uh, we'll put the for loop here, so for, I'll just take a quick look and see. Yeah. Oh, I just do the digital read there. Okay. And then I sign it a thing. All right. Well, that seems to work okay too. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, let's just uh, rid ourselves of this line. Uh, I'm wondering which is more efficient. I have, a, I, have a, I, have a, I have a have a memory of doing something like this and then one being much, one for some reason, one being much slower than the other. But um, it seems to work fine, so let's 
let's just do it. And if we find it slows down, we can change this. Just remember we did this. So for int i equals zero, i is less than num nbts i plus plus. And then we're going to encapsulate everything in our i. I believe everything, yeah. Or we can command T to straighten everything out. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is say uh, we have to look at the, the gates, okay? So those are called BTGs. So if BTGs i is false, and then the, the val if the BT val equals zero, so we're going to change that. We're going to just put in that digital read bit. So we're going to say digital instead of declaring an extra variable read. <coughs> and then it'll be BTS I. Digital read BTS I, if that's correct. Let me just double check. Oh, equals low, of course. Is equal to low. <coughs> right? So that means the button is pressed, right? Because it's pulled up high. So if digital read of any of any or all the buttons is low, so it's gonna go so it's gonna go through the whole all three of the buttons. So button zero is the gate uh, false? Is it open essentially? <coughs> if yes or zero, then is it low? Has it been pushed? And then it'll carry on. Digital pin one, it'll look at it, digital pin two, it'll look at it. Or actually it's digital pin two, three, and four, right? Okay, and so now we have to just get a little bit fancier here with uh, our strings here because we have to indicate which button is being pushed. All right, so let's see how I do that. All right, and then I just convert that to a string. Okay, so we will um, uh, we'll have BT. That'll be our header. And then we can use this plus to attach string, right? All right, we're gonna put it in between those. So actually, we're gonna put the colon at the end. So BT plus, and then we're gonna have a string. Oops. Let's see, is that a capital? So I keep, keep going back and forth, yes. So string, and then we're gonna convert the I to a string. Hmm. Right, so basically it'll be, if it's, if zero is pressed, it'll be BT zero, because I will be zero, so plus I. And then we're gonna add, oops. Going to add the colon plus a concat to that string, that colon like that. All right, so it'll be BT zero one or two if we have three buttons with the colon, and then we're going to print line R one, which indicates it's been pressed. Right, and then now we have to shut the gate so only one comes through. So we're going to change that to true, but our BT one G is become this array. So let's change that to BTG's I equals true. All right, so if it's false and it's being pressed, then we print that to the serial port and then we shut the gate, okay? So we have to do the exact same thing here now with the uh, with if it's, if it's not pressed, if it's open. So else, which refers to, um, so if it's false, else if it's true then, if it's true, if the gate is open, for that particular button, BTG's I, then uh, this one, digital read equals high. So we're just gonna replace that. Copy that and paste that in there. If digital read buttons I is high, that means, because it's a pull-up resistor, it's not been pushed, the button has not been pushed. And then just copy that syntax up here too as well concatenating that string together bt with the uh, string the button number and then add the colon at the end and we're just going to add a zero to it and then the same thing we just have to replace that one single variable with our array btg's i equals true okay and then whatever delay so it doesn't get jammed up and that should do you so uh, hopefully that works we'll find out arduino's plugged in i think yes it is Oh, look at it too on the slide here, so we both can see what's going on. <coughs> okay, 
and if I run, if I upload that, and then I run my serial monitor, it should be working. Oops, okay, I accidentally pulled the button out. All right, I think I forgot to change the gate or something because uh, it's going, it's just continually running through. Of course, I copied that line from this one over here to the else. And in fact, it's supposed to be false, right? So, so that means that else means, is it true? So if it's true, if the gate is open for off, you know, for the zero, for unpressed, then it'll register zero, and then it'll shut that gate, it'll go false. So it has to be true to come back. So I just copied that line, but I didn't flip it to false. All right, so let's upload that. So hopefully this works now. And we'll look at the zero. So press one, zero, one, zero. Button two, button zero, button one, button two. All right, so that looks pretty good. See, am I still on camera? Yeah. Okay. Great. So, there you go. That's multiple buttons. And, of course, if you want a different number of buttons, you're just going to change that number there and change each of those. Now, if you want... Um, now I don't know why I think I think something to Arduino, but let's let's give it a try. Let's just see. I think I think I've tried this before, but if I put number of buttons in there, I don't think it works. Yeah, see it it, it doesn't like that. So that's all right. You change three numbers, and then you can also change your start pin, of course. Just make sure that you have uh, plus your start pin. You have enough pins. So if I want three buttons and I want to start digital seven, I need to make sure I have a digital seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So good luck with that. Hopefully that works for you. Uh, this is getting multiple buttons based on a template that we did for one button in, one digital button, very simple circuit. This is now going to give you access to multiple buttons uh, in a very quick way.